Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Bangkok Chili Peppers TV. I am Moda and today I am in Hiroshima, Japan. I will spend here one day and a half. Let's see how many things I will be able to explore. With six beautiful rivers flowing through it, Hiroshima is called the city of water. The Genbaku Dome, known also as a Bomb Dome, is part of the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park and was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. It was the only structure left standing in the area where the first atomic bomb exploded on 6th of August 1945. It's a memorial to the over 140,000 people who were killed in the bombing. This building has been preserved in the same state as immediately after the explosion and serves as a reminder of the destructive effects of nuclear warfare. The dome is really something impressive, a memory from the past. This sculpture is the Flame of Peace. The fire on top was lit on August 1st, 1964 and will continue to burn until there are no nuclear weapons left on Earth. There are three peace bells in the Peace Park. The more well-known consists of a large Japanese bell. Visitors are encouraged to ring the bell for world peace. The 50 meters tall Rizuru Tower opened in September 2016. Local artists provided the artwork that lined the walkway inside. I really like this place, it's really relaxing. It offers a great view of the surroundings, including the less commonly seen view of the A-bomb dome from above. The main areas for visitors to the tower are the cafe and souvenir shop, the observation deck on the top floor and the interactive multimedia zone on the 12th floor. The Suica card is a must in Japan to move around via public transport. My next stop is the Hiroshima Castle. It was originally constructed in the late 16th century and played a vital role in the strategic defense of the city. The castle was high damaged by the atomic bomb, it was then rebuilt. Today is a museum and symbol of hope and resilience. The view from the top is really nice. The Gokoku Shrine was destroyed by the atomic bomb and was rebuilt on the current site within the grounds of Hiroshima Castle. Now I am ready to explore the nightlife in Hiroshima. It's Monday, I don't expect to find so much, but let's see. I am now walking in Yagembori, that together with Nagarekawa are the red light districts of Hiroshima. Here there are dozens of bars, izakaya and also several red light clubs. I am hungry. I want to try the local dish Okonomiyaki. Okonomimura is one of the best places to eat it. Okonomiyaki literally means grilled as you like it. It's made from seasoned flour, cabbage and various fresh meats and vegetables mixed together and cooked in a fried pan, just like a pancake. You have to cut it and put it on a plate. It's lovely. A new day started, I decided to visit the Shukayan Garden. This name means scenery garden. Its design mimics various natural landscapes on a smaller scale. This place is really relaxing, I really love it. It was originally constructed in 1620 during the Edo period, just after the completion of Hiroshima Castle. This garden was damaged by the atomic bomb and restored afterwards. Now for me it's time to move forward, I need to reach Miyajima, the next destination. I will take the train to Iwakuni. It stops also at the ferry pier for Miyajima. The ferry ride is about 15 minutes. Miyajima, also known as Itsukushima, is an island and popular touristic destination. It is often considered one of the most scenic spots in Japan, offering a combination of natural beauty, cultural significance and historical charm. The air roam freely on the island. The Tsukushima Shrine is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a Shinto Shrine known for its floating Tori Gate, which appears to be standing in the water during high tide. This is one of the most photographed and iconic images of Japan. I really feel back in the time here. Miyajima is so relaxing, I can recommend to stay overnight. The entire island of Miyajima is considered sacred in Shintoism. Daishoin is one of the most important temples of Shingon Buddhism. Mount Misen is the highest peak on the island, there are hiking trails that lead to the summit. 
The trek is rewarding, but I have limited time and I will take the ropeway. This place offers a panoramic view of the Seto Inland Sea and surrounding islands. Today I'm not lucky, too much fog, the weather is not good. During the annual Toronagashi Lantern Festival, thousands of paper lanterns are released into the water, creating a magical atmosphere. The rain will not stop me to reach the summit of Mount Misen. 535 meters high, this trek is very beautiful. This place deserves much more time to be explored. There are several paths. Stay here, even just for one night more, will be a great idea. Finally I reached at the top. I'm sure that the view from here, without rain and fog, will be really amazing. And now for me it's time to go back. I'm hungry, I want to try some food. Let's start with the famous fried momiji manjo. This one is filled with matcha paste. It tastes good. There is also local beer, IPA, let's try it. Excellent. Grilled oysters are a specialty here, I absolutely have to try them. They are big. Lovely. For me it's time to leave this beautiful place and go back to Hiroshima. I think that now I will have a shower and then enjoy the rest of the night eating Okonomiyaki. So guys, this episode is over. I hope that you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.